Hello fellow YouTubers. Got another car here, another project. 1969 Oldsmobile Cutlass S. Why did I buy another project? I have too many as it is. I don't know. I'm gonna blame the auto refinery. Check out their channel. They're restoring a 1969 Oldsmobile Cutlass S W31 car. A real one and I bought this car with the idea of doing a tribute clone whatever you want to call it so that's why I got it it's got 64,000 original miles we're gonna take a quick little walk around and do a little video and just go over the car I think this car brought a wasp nest with with it, so you see me run, you know why. There's a lot of wasps coming out of this car. Let's see. I don't know. Definitely not 100% solid. It's got some rust. It's got some bondo. It's gonna need some work. The floors are good. So that's a good sign. And uh, I think the base of the windshield looks good. Back window area looks good. Oops. Sorry. Camera lost uh, lost it there a little bit. Original white car, blue interior. Not a bad car. Well, I guess we'll. I'll show you why I got interested in it. It was on uh, Facebook Marketplace. I'd like to thank the very friendly female seller. First thing that caught my eye is the uh, factory bucket seats. They've been recovered with just a uh, smooth vinyl. At least I could sit on them for now. I will be redoing them. Most of these cars are bench seat, column shift cars. So that was the first thing. I'm going to replace the door panels. They glued a piece of vinyl across the top on this one and the other side you'll see how bad it is. And somebody cut speaker holes in it. Let's go take a look at the other side. I'll show you some other cool things here. Yeah, that door panel's real nice, huh? I already got new ones ordered. They're on back order, so I'm gonna have to wait for them. Uh, let's see what else. Well, it's got a AM radio. Got an awesome eight ball shifter there. I'm gonna have to find a correct shifter for that. Uh, let's see. I was very happy to find that it's a gauge car. It's got the rally gauges and the tack and the clock and the tack. So that was a really cool surprise. <sighs> wheels are gonna go. I got a set of steel wheels with the red lines on and red line radials. I'll just put the uh, I'll just buy the Oldsmobile uh, standard hubcap or dog dish hubcap. I like that look. I'm going to put you down for a second, we'll look under the hood. And I'll show you why else I like this car. Alright. I don't know. Original 350. Factory 4 barrel. Another reason why I was interested. Turbo 350 training. Power drum brakes, power steering. Not a. This is my first classic Oldsmobile. I'm more of a Pontiac guy, and I have a few Buicks too. But I do see a clutch fan and a shroud, so this one might have a heavy duty cooling option, possibly. This is a non air car. Typically, air cars would have a clutch fan. Still has the original Harrison radiator. Doesn't look like a four core, that's probably a three core. 
if I had to just guess by looking at it. Still has the original exhaust manifolds, number five heads. Did a little inspecting. I got this car Thursday night. It came on the trailer at night, of course, in the dark. That's always fun. There goes a wasp by my head. Sorry about that. And uh, did a little investigating on it. Oil was dirty, but it was, at least it was still oil. No water, no gas in it, so that was a good sign. Still has coolant in it. It's green. Still has tranny fluid that's red, not burnt. All good signs. Got a breaker bar on the uh, harmonic balancer bolt there, and uh, the engine turned. So I'm pretty sure I'll be able to get this running in no time. I have an, a good quadrajet that runs I mean, off a running engine. It's on my Pontiac 400 right now. I'll pull that. I already bought a fuel pump and spark plugs. I got a new fuel line. I got hoses. I got belts. I got cap and rotor and spark plug wires. I got a lot of stuff already that uh, get this thing running. I can take the battery out of my Tempest and throw that in there temporarily. Got some battery cables. wanted to do a quick video on the car before it winds up in the uh, garage which is going right in the attached that's gonna be my fall winter project have it running for spring let's see what else we got in this thing well we got the console you can see that headliners coming down got some uh, awesome speakers back there yeah they're, they're great and a bunch of dead Yellow jackets and wasps on that rear package tray. Rear seats don't look too bad, but rear door panels are actually pretty good too. Original carpet still in it. Now, let's see what's in the trunk. The trunk is ugly. I'm gonna have to. I got some repair work to do on the trunk. Somebody. Did some awesome rust repair with Bondo. They just slapped it all over the place. And there's a nest there. There's a nest there. At least the weather stripping channel isn't completely rotted away. It's got a couple spots that are going to need some attention, but I've seen a lot worse. Still has the. Uh, Original stickers there, original paint on the underneath, and the, and the deck lid's actually not bad at all. It's not rotted through. It's got some surface rust in some spots. So, be a fun, fun little project. The back bumper's in pretty good shape. Got a couple dings. So there you have it. Another project. Like I need another project. Solid frame on this one. And because it's a cutlass S, I didn't realize that it shares a little the whole interior shared with the 442. Now a cutlass supreme would have a different pattern on the interior. And I guess that's why so many of these get restored. You pretty much get a lot of parts for these, get grills, headlight bezels, bumpers. Fenders now, quarters, patches, floors of course, trunk. You can get a lot of parts for these now. You can get all the lenses. And they're all GM licensed too. So I'm looking at the uh, base of the windshield. I'll have to pull that molding off and really see, but it doesn't look too bad from what I can see. Oh, there's a sticker on it, Pennsylvania. Last time it was on the road it was 2001. It's been a while. It's a cool project. Not a fan of the side molding here on the doors and the fender and quarter, so those are coming off, I think. I gotta power wash this thing before I put it in the garage. Get everything. I think that's the next step. Alright, I don't know if anybody wants to see a particular thing about this car. You can always uh, write a comment. I do check my 
videos for comments once in a while. Not every day, but once in a while. So there you have it. 69 Oldsmobile Cutlass S. 354 barrel. Bucket seat console car with gauges. And it's going to be a driver. At least that's the plan. Alright, thanks for watching. Take care.